Bible verses about the end of time. Matthew 24 verse 36. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. The verse from the book of Matthew is a profound reminder of the uncertainty and unpredictability surrounding the end of time. It emphasizes that the exact moment of the end is known only to God the Father and is a secret kept even from the angels in heaven. This verse encourages believers to live in a state of readiness and spiritual vigilance, as the end could come at any unexpected moment. It serves as a call to lead a life of righteousness and devotion to God's will, fostering a deep relationship with Him and maintaining a steadfast faith, as the time of the end remains undisclosed. 2 Peter 3 verse 10 But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. This verse from 2 Peter illustrates the sudden and unforeseen nature of the Lord's coming. It uses vivid imagery to depict the dramatic transformation of the heavens and the earth, symbolizing the transient nature of worldly possessions and accomplishments. The elements melting with fervent heat signify the purification and renewal of the world, leading to the establishment of a new heaven and a new earth where righteousness dwells. This verse urges believers to lead lives of holiness and godliness, anticipating the day of God and being diligent to be found by Him without spot or blemish. Revelation 21 verse 4 And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, either sorrow, nor crying, either shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Revelation 21 verse 4 provides a comforting and hopeful vision of the new world that God will create at the end of time. It portrays a place where all suffering, pain, and death are eradicated, and God himself will console and wipe away the tears from every eye. This verse is a reminder of the eternal joy and peace that await believers in the presence of God, where the hardships and tribulations of the current world will be no more. It encourages believers to persevere through trials and tribulations, keeping their faith and hope anchored in the promises of God for a future devoid of sorrow and filled with everlasting happiness. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 2 for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. This verse reiterates the suddenness and unpredictability of the Lord's coming, emphasizing the need for constant vigilance and preparedness. It serves as a reminder that the day of the Lord will be unexpected and will catch many off guard, just as a thief comes unannounced in the night. Believers are encouraged to be watchful and sober, living in the light of God's truth and righteousness and to be fortified in faith, love, and hope, so as not to be overtaken by the day of the Lord as those who are in darkness. Matthew 24 verse 14 And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. This verse from Matthew highlights the global proclamation of the gospel as a precursor to the end of time. It underscores the importance of spreading the message of God's kingdom to every nation, making it a witness to all people. This global evangelism is a divine mandate and is instrumental in fulfilling God's redemptive plan for humanity. Believers are called to participate in this mission, sharing the good news of salvation and the coming kingdom of God, and to endure in their faith, knowing that the completion of this task will herald the commencement of the end times. Mark 13 verse 32 But of that day and that hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels which are in heaven, either the Son, but the Father. Mark 13 verse 32 echoes the sentiment of uncertainty surrounding the exact timing of the end of time, emphasizing that not even the Son or the angels in heaven are privy to this knowledge, but only the Father. This verse serves as a reminder to live in constant readiness and anticipation of the Lord's return maintaining a life of prayer, watchfulness, and adherence to God's commandments. It encourages believers to be diligent in their walk with God, focusing on cultivating a deep and intimate relationship with Him, and to be steadfast in faith and obedience, as the day and the hour remain unknown. Revelation 1 verse 7 Behold, 
he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. Revelation 1 verse 7 presents a powerful depiction of the return of Jesus Christ, coming with clouds, visible to every eye, including those who crucified him. This verse conveys the universal acknowledgement and recognition of Jesus at his coming, and the mourning of the nations realizing the truth of his divinity and their rejection of him. It serves as a solemn reminder of the accountability that all will face before the Lord and emphasizes the importance of accepting and confessing Jesus as Lord and Savior in this lifetime. Believers are encouraged to live in the hope and assurance of His coming and to proclaim His truth and salvation to the world, preparing themselves and others for that glorious day. 2 Timothy 3 verse 1 This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, 2 Timothy 3 verse 1 warns of the challenging and dangerous times that will characterize the last days. It serves as a sobering reminder of the moral and spiritual decline and the increase in wickedness and rebellion against God that will prevail in the end times. This verse urges believers to be grounded in the truth and to be discerning, resisting the influences of the corrupt and godless world and standing firm in faith and righteousness. It calls for a commitment to godly living, devotion to the teachings of the scripture, and reliance on the Holy Spirit for strength and guidance in navigating the perilous times. Daniel 12 verse 4 But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words, and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Daniel 12 verse 4 speaks to the prophet Daniel about the sealing of the prophetic words until the time of the end, a period characterized by increased travel and knowledge. This verse suggests a correlation between the advancements in technology, mobility, and information and the unfolding of the end-time events. It encourages believers to seek wisdom and understanding from God and to discern the signs of the times in the light of the increased knowledge and revelation. It also serves as a reminder to be vigilant and to deepen the commitment to God's word, recognizing the fulfillment of prophecies and preparing for the culmination of God's redemptive plan. Matthew 24 verse 22 And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake those days shall be shortened. This verse from Matthew reveals the extreme severity of the tribulation in the last days indicating that if those days were not shortened, no human being would survive. However, for the sake of the elect, those chosen by God, those days will be shortened. This verse underscores the mercy and grace of God in preserving a remnant and highlights the importance of being among God's elect through faith in Jesus Christ. It serves as a call to embrace God's salvation and to live in alignment with His will experiencing his protection and favor in the midst of tribulation. Revelation 20 verse 15 And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Revelation 20 verse 15 provides a stark depiction of the final judgment, where those whose names are not found in the book of life face eternal separation from God in the lake of fire. This verse is a solemn reminder of the reality of eternal destiny, and the urgency of securing one's name in the book of life through faith in Jesus Christ. It encourages believers to share the message of salvation with others, urging them to receive God's grace and forgiveness and to have their names inscribed in the book of life, avoiding the eternal consequences of rejection. Luke 21 verse 11 And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines, and pestilences, and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven. Luke 21 verse 11 outlines various signs that will precede the end of time, including natural disasters, famines, diseases, and heavenly phenomena. These occurrences are depicted as indicators of the approaching end and serve as warnings to be heeded. This verse encourages believers to be attentive to these signs and to interpret them in the light of biblical prophecy reinforcing their faith and commitment to God in the midst of turmoil. It also serves as a call to prayer and intercession for the afflicted and a motivation to extend help and share the hope of the gospel in times of distress. 
1 Corinthians 15 verse 52. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. This verse from 1 Corinthians describes the instantaneous transformation of believers at the last trumpet, when the dead in Christ will be raised, and the living will be changed. This momentous event marks the victory over death and corruption and the entrance into eternal life and immortality. This verse serves as a source of hope and anticipation for believers, assuring them of their glorious future in the presence of God. It encourages a life of purity and devotion to God, living in the light of the eternal inheritance and the imperishable bodies that will be received at the last trumpet. Matthew 24 verse 7 for nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes, in diverse places. Matthew 24 verse 7 predicts widespread conflicts, wars, and various calamities as signs of the end times. The rise of nations against each other, and the prevalence of natural disasters and diseases are depicted as the birth pains leading to the end. This verse serves as a reminder to believers to be discerning and vigilant, interpreting the events in the world as indicators of the nearing end. It encourages a commitment to peace, love, and righteousness, and a reliance on God's protection and provision in the midst of global unrest and instability. Revelation 13 verses 16 to 17 And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand, or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. These verses from Revelation describe the enforcement of the mark of the beast, restricting economic activities to those who accept it. This mark represents allegiance to the beast and is a symbol of rebellion against God. These verses serve as a warning to believers to remain steadfast in their faith and allegiance to God, resisting the pressures and deceptions of the world. They encourage a life of discernment, wisdom, and reliance on God's provision and guidance in navigating the challenges and temptations of the end times. 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 3 Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 3 warns against deception concerning the coming of the Lord and specifies that it will be preceded by a great apostasy and the revelation of the man of sin, the Antichrist. This verse serves as a call to discernment and vigilance, guarding against false teachings and apostate influences. It encourages believers to be grounded in the truth of God's word, to recognize the signs of the times, and to maintain their faith and commitment to God in the face of rising opposition and deception. Matthew 24 verse 21 For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. Matthew 24 verse 21 describes a period of unprecedented tribulation and distress that will characterize the end times. This intense suffering and hardship are depicted as unparalleled in human history, marking a climactic point in the unfolding of God's redemptive plan. This verse serves as a sobering reminder of the severity of the end-time events and encourages believers to be fortified in their faith, relying on God's strength and grace to endure and overcome the tribulations. It also calls for a deepening relationship with God, seeking His refuge and protection in the midst of adversity. Revelation 22 verse 12 And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. Revelation 22 verse 12 conveys the imminent return of Jesus Christ, coming swiftly to reward every individual according to their deeds. This verse underscores the accountability and recompense that await every person and serves as a call to righteous living and faithful service to God. It encourages believers to be diligent in their works, motivated by the hope of receiving the eternal rewards that Jesus brings with him. It also serves as a reminder of the urgency of aligning one's life with God's will and purposes, anticipating the soon return of the Lord. Luke 21 verse 36 
Watch you therefore, and pray always, that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass, and to stand before the Son of Man. Luke 21 verse 36 emphasizes the importance of watchfulness and prayer in preparation for the end times, encouraging believers to live in a manner worthy of escaping the coming tribulations and standing before the Son of Man. This verse serves as a call to spiritual vigilance and constant communion with God, seeking His guidance and strength to live righteously and to be found worthy at His coming. It encourages a life of humility, repentance, and reliance on God's grace, maintaining a close and intimate relationship with Him in anticipation of standing in His presence. Revelation 3 verse 11 Behold, I come quickly, hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Revelation 3 verse 11 reiterates the imminent return of Jesus and encourages believers to hold fast to their faith and convictions, ensuring that they receive the crown of life. This verse serves as a motivation to persevere in the faith, resisting the influences and temptations of the world, and to safeguard the truths and values of the kingdom of God. It calls for steadfastness, endurance, and commitment to God's commandments, living in the hope and assurance of the eternal rewards that await the faithful. Remember to subscribe, like, share, and comment to support the channel and stay updated on the latest videos. May the peace, love, and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen.